Did you listen to uh, the gang is back? No, I saw it. <laughs> what are you, I was talking about what the, was album. Question. <laughs> what was the album. Let the guy finish his question. Tyler the Creator. Ooh, yes, mm. very good album. Grace, mm. in, case, in case you're on other topics, we have something to talk about. No, uh, that's what that's all. The be- that's the whole review he just gave to you right now. Yeah, <laughs> that's all. There's nothing extra. On high, it. high, high replay value. <laughs> that's it. Model. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for joining. Yeah. But خش مي يا من جد ترى مشكلة الوضع صار. What's the issue? I can't breathe properly. I'm also low. You, well, are, you, you are. Yes. No sound wise. Sound wise. Yeah. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Hey, now I'm here. All right. Um, Your nose. My nose. Can't breathe. Can't breathe. I find issues with breathing, and I feel like breathing is one of those things you need to do as a person. Did yeah. you get that yes. feeling uh, when correct. you were in New York, or did you get it when you came back? When I first came back. Could it be ah, yeah. a flu. <laughs> yeah. It, it, changed flu. Weather. it actually be, happened uh, when I first got dust. to New York as well. Uh, well, it should happen I when you get to New York because the weather is different. Pollen. There was it's a lot colder. of pollen. No, no, it's not pollen. No, it's, it's not it's pollen. It's a flower it's city. Okay. Exactly. Mm. First off, they do have pollen. Pollen is like different. Yeah, types of levels. And them shijar. We don't have shijar. Shijar is a lot. Exactly. You know, so that's why I don't travel in the spring. عشان ما يحب الشجر. Yeah, in spring I'm I'm dead. And the shijar ما يحبه. But everything scratchy, throat, eyes, nonstop nosebleeds. It's awful for me in the spring. For um, it's my kryptonite. For pray for me mm. uh, as I as I fix myself and become a better person. Well, we've been praying that for a long time. No, but Alf, it's one of those things where you know it's not an emergency, but it's a quality of life thing. It's annoying. You described it's the, annoying. You, you described the word annoying. Yeah, just yeah, now. yeah. And and personally, the I, concept of being annoyed is is what you just said. And personally, I have the opinion that if it's not an emergency, then a surgical procedure is not something that you have to do. Facts. Better to avoid it. Facts. You know. Hence yeah. me not doing you know LASIK, even though I'm blind as a bat with my without my glasses. No, you do. also I the experience of my fellow yeah, friend I was, here. I was you know, going to say uh, the horror that he went through. Initially, I was said you were going to be a coward, but I see our blind uh, mystic in front of us. So no, no but <laughs> yo, <laughs> first off, I can see you, asshole. Okay, <laughs> blind dish, yeah. blind is <laughs> no, I'm not blind. Mine. I'm nowhere near it. No, but I also met an eye doctor, and you know what the eye doctor told me? You don't need it. No, they said, "Have you ever seen an eye doctor that does LASIK?" And I'm like, no. Isn't isn't all? all? <laughs> so they're like, yeah, no, we know later. better. Um, yeah, yeah. They, they 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 don't do it on themselves because they knew that they know the side effects, right? They know how it cannot work out for everyone. So yeah, even the people that give you the service tell it, don't do it on themselves. So okay. that says a lot. Okay, good shift, Doctor Zrachar Zara. Probably, yeah. I don't think Doctor Zrachar would be a bald guy. I think he'd advertise his skills. I mean, you've seen the most. Uh, Zra'a Char doctors than like the rest of us. I, you I have just, more experience in this field. Just the one. Sure. Yeah. Just the one. Just the one. Just the consultation. <laughs> and, I'm not saying a single word. I'm minding <laughs> my own business here. <laughs> and, uh, I'm just like, I mean, no, I I I'm, I'm sure you can grow yours if I do it. If you want to. Sure you can grow yours. You focus. You If you really think about it, you know, you put in the energy, you know, you'll be hairy again, you know. Pause again. But I don't think that fits within your general persona. Mm. Yeah, you're smooth like that. Uh, Paul. Yo. <laughs> what? Yo. Yeah. Paul, I'm just, Paul, I'm just Paul, talking Paul. about your head. Samsi, you've been away for too long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's been three long. weeks. But yeah. see, I miss you guys. I don't feel like you guys missed me as much, honestly. Hey, welcome back to Captain Your Boy. I had what's happening with Poppin' episode 276. The boys are back. Got the homie tips right behind me. I got Shams right next to me. The world traveler. Number one is in the building. Hello. We are back. Let's get this started. You were saying? I don't feel like y'all miss me as hey, much welcome as I back. Up to your boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like when I first sat down, there was a moment where I got like, I don't know, the competitive hate from all sides coming. It was weird. Shout out to our tens and tens of <laughs> listeners. Shout out to our tens and tens of viewers. We appreciate y'all for being here. Y'all are more important. <laughs> what, you don't appreciate me being here? I appreciate of course you. I appreciate exactly. all of our tens and tens of listeners. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's good to be back, fellas. It's good to be back. Not really, but it is kind of good. No one cares, you know? bro. Mm-hmm. No one cares what you have to say right now. Okay. There are more important things that are happening in the world than me and you. Like, like what? Bald head? No, like France and Italy are playing right now. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so it's like good. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love this, bro. Anyways, this. Mm. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. It's, uh, we've been missed. I thank you. I also appreciate. We said that. that when you first walked in, but you want to be like a dick, like a child. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, they don't love me. They don't love me. Look at that. Appreciate them. Yeah. me in front of people, please. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. On, on on record, please. <laughs> yeah. So I can. No, since you were in New York, I have multiple questions. Mm. One, 
Do you agree if Spider-Man was in the desert here in Saudi, in Riyadh, mm. he'll get his ass beat more than he is in New York? I mean, he can hide in New York. He can't mm. hide in the desert. That's what I'm I mean, saying. You know, there's yeah. nothing to swing on. Exactly. Yeah, so a lot, a you, lot of walking. Yeah. You, exactly. You eliminate all the superpowers. I can just run him over. Yeah, I think. Times. I think. I think a, a person like Spider-Man was made for a place like New York mm. because buildings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> buildings. Yeah. Because the concrete jungle. Because hey. because because you can squash spiders, right? You can't squash spiders. No, <laughs> I don't think you can squash them in the desert. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Well, well, what? Yeah. what? Because we protect wildlife. Mm, we respect bro, biodiversity. Bro. Nice thing. We understand mm. that the ecosystem is built upon multiple parts that all need to be cared and for and saved. And they're all valuable. Preach. Yes, mm. yes. But in New York, you know, I mean, <laughs> rats. I mean, the rats no, 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 no. They don't. They don't roam the streets, my guy. Well, they, the rats reign. They rule the, the streets. streets. They rule the streets. Guys, it's unacceptable for a civilized city to have this many rats. I mean, I've been told Paris is as ratty. Yeah, but yes. but yo, like I can't walk the sidewalk. <laughs> I can't walk the, walk the sidewalk at night. You know. Like I genuinely, I'm not even kidding. You get used to it. Like, you, look, it's all about timing. Like in the morning, you know they're gonna be taking their kids to school, mm -hmm. so you, <laughs> so, so you gotta be careful, right? Okay. You know, at noon they're going to have lunch. It's feeding mm -hmm. time. You know, yeah. so like you know, you just gotta avoid True. those times. I did night. I did notice their diners. They do have nice diners. Of you know, course they at, do. At the corner of, of yeah. you know every, every <laughs> avenue, of every sewer. You know, yeah. but but a little ratatouille. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking. Exactly. Exactly. But, Chef's is walking over the table. What you doing? <laughs> but I think I think that is part of the flora. I said the rats are Italian. <laughs> <laughs> of course they would be. <laughs> Why do you think they're? Why would they be Italian? <laughs> and the other rats what else would they be? I think they're they're Irish rats and they fight with the Italians. I don't know. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. but it's just they're the, um, that. Oh, you didn't even hear about the Jew rats. There's Jew they're, rats. Oh, that's a different thing. Okay. But they have a cable around the sewer. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying. <laughs> I mean, I mean, genuinely, I think they're part of the flora and the fauna of the city, as they're just so accepted. No, they're permanent residents. No, no, that's <laughs> okay. what I'm saying. They're so accept. They're like they're like the trees. You they're, know, you they're accept invested it. in the stock market. Didn't New York have a lot of cats back in the day, and they got rid of them? That's why the rats. Uh basically no the rats were like, you like know, supreme i think the rats would be i think cats, <laughs> you know no, no, I, 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 read, I read a story the like that they did they whooped the cats yeah they whooped the cats no, with, was with, it was it new york or london i'm not sure one of them had a lot of cats something happened they had to get rid of all the cats and then the rats just like became rain know, rain. Yeah, yeah yeah so that's that's one it's like what happened here with the dogs no, oh, that's yeah. why you have a lot of cats yes, in the streets. True. No, but that is actually one, Yanni, yeah, for an extremely civilized and supposedly evolved city, mm -hmm. that is one downside that I'm generally surprised Question, by. Question, Adil, is the rat hole a tourist attraction in, in New York, right? The New York rat hole? The New York rat hole. That Which sounds one? disgusting. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> that sounds there's, so nasty, bro. That sounds so nasty. Hey, man, hey, yo, it's the vibe, bro. It's part of the city. Uh, so, uh, oh, so I'm sorry so, for disrespecting the culture. Exactly. You know? That's culture. Yeah. The it's familiar. New, mm. The New York rat hole, <laughs> listeners, is a concrete part of the pavement that I believe a rat, rats. A, a rat left an imprint on the cement, and now it's a tourist attraction. So you see people like... Oh, wow. Throw coin in the rat hole. Somebody got married at the rat hole, apparently. Yeah, I didn't see the... the what's the name? That, you see, honestly, that is culture. Like, if we're talking Someone about put a fish tank in the middle of Brooklyn next to a tree. Okay. There was some like water that was just staying there for no reason. to mm. have to put a fish tank and they put fishes and shit. <laughs> okay. And then people started passing by every day, putting food and, you know, supporting. Uh, that, the community but, project? Yeah, it became a community project. Bro, how else okay. do you develop, you know... Community. Exactly. <laughs> how do you develop ecosystems? Was, you know, like, was the portal in New York as well? Yes, the portal is in New York. Yes. Yeah, and then they, they shut it down. They shut it down because no, they, they did New York things. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I think people, yeah, were fucking with them. Yes, uh, New York things. Yes. Yeah, on New York things. I mean, you go to the most aggressive city, and you say, "Hey, we're gonna show the world the city." No, son, <laughs> <laughs> that's not how this works. Uh, <laughs> listeners, you are you should be thankful that Chamsi is with us because he did a very stupid thing. And when we're talking about Chamsi, that's quite of an achievement. No, because, I think so, I think. I, I think up. I have a sense of humor. Shut up. You know? <laughs> Shut, up. <laughs> Shut up. You think you have a sense of humor. Yeah. Just we are trying to protect you. We're putting <laughs> this on the record. Okay. So, uh, there's a sport called baseball, ladies and gentlemen. You might have heard about it. It's very popular in the, in the, in the United States of America. 
they are the world champions of it, even though they're the only country that plays it. <laughs> yeah, they have the World Series yeah. every yeah. year. Yes, and it's in America. They play that it is. in Japan too. Yeah, in Cuba as well. Again, that, that's that's a new World War II thing, I think. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so New York has two teams, the Mets and the Yankees. Which is one of the biggest teams in the world. Correct. Renowned. In the for world. The, yeah, for the, it is actually. Yeah, America. It, it, no, sure. no, it's in terms it's, of numbers. It's a you known, know. it's a known. They team. have the Yankee hat, the NY hat, that's theirs. Yeah, so they, the night, the night before Shamsi decided to be cute. On Halloween. On Halloween. Which is, you know. He wore a New York Yankees jersey. Now for context, the New York Yankees lost the World Series by a lot. The day before. The day before. To LA. So the city was in its feelings. It wasn't in its feelings, okay? How many people... When is New York not in its feelings? I asked, first of all, okay, You to... asked someone who's trying to sell you something. No, 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 okay. I I'm asked... like, he's, he's, he's talking to the salesman. Yo, am I going to get my ass whooped? No! no. <laughs> no. Okay, okay. No. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I didn't believe the guy at the Yankee store who told me that, right? Okay, because when I went to so the... So you went to the Yankee store yeah. and asked the salesman, yeah. is it safe for me to wear the product that I can purchase from you? Which is in your In a main capitalist product. country. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, no. So, <laughs> so I didn't believe him, okay? So I went to the store next to him that sells the Yankee hats. Yes. You know, I asked that guy. Oh, yeah. And he's still okay. selling hats, though. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and you know, he looked more of a New Yorker than the first guy. And you he's know? like, no, go buy the jersey and buy this hat also. No, he actually, you know what he told me? Mm. He's like, that's funny. What I would do is I would go to the, to the store cro- across the road, which is, you know, those souvenir stores, yeah. and get like a $5 Yankee jersey. And then, so actually, I actually had the, an addition to the to the jersey that I didn't mention to you guys. I wanted to get a number on the back, right? Mm. And I don't really know the players, and I don't really know who's... So you, there's you, one number you're going for. Okay, I know, no, I was, I, so the idea that I had in mind, you know, to complete the joke in case people didn't get it. Everybody's favorite number. I was going to get 24, <laughs> nice. and then loser. Because they just lost the World Series. Yo. No. Yo. That was you want to get shot. You, you yeah. want to die. That yeah. wasn't recommended by yeah, the yeah, guy. Yeah. yeah, that wasn't recommended by the Look, guy. Look, yeah. you do He not, still thought it was uh, funny. Sorry, no, first off, okay. no, 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 first off, first off. But okay. it wasn't Let's suggested, recommended. Okay, so you don't watch the sport. You don't care about the whole sport overall. No, we didn't finish, right? You but want, can I just say something? No, you can't. Okay. And now you want to go to New York where everything is aggressive. Mm. And you want to put loser on a Yankees jersey. Because they just lost. You're a yeah. tourist. You're a yeah. stupid idiot. Well, exactly. I am a tourist. That's I you know that's what makes it targets. worse. Yeah. You are dis- you know, Imagine this. Imagine someone comes here and does the same thing in Jersey Hagel Hilal when he enters Al Hagel Ayal. What do you think is going to happen to him? Uh, I think you think all gonna be like, oh, it's, it's funny of I you. I think Kilayad would be respectful <laughs> of him. You know, they would welcome him as a guest. They would explain to him the error of his ways. Really? Yeah. Do that. <laughs> you know. Then, Never mind someone who's a tourist. Mm. You do that and yeah. walk in on the yes. boys. Yeah. Please. Right? Hey, but the difference is I'm not no a tourist. Yeah. Hey, I'm not a tourist. <laughs> <laughs> tourist. He's going to put your head in a bucket and mop the floor back and forth with your big ass head. <laughs> what I'm going to say is, thankfully, I was not... Uh, <laughs> I, thankfully, thankfully, I was respected no, you, as no, a Yankees were. fan. No, no, tell the know? truth. Tell a, lot, the truth. <laughs> a lot of people thought I was actually a Yankees fan. They just started coming and giving me shit. Exactly. So the Mets fan were having the Mets fans were yeah. having fun with me. And a couple of LA fans were having fun with me as well. And yeah. the uh, sellers. Pause. Pause. Yeah, yeah. Pause, pause. <laughs> the, no, I'm just saying, people just started coming up to me and talking to me about baseball. And I had absolutely no idea what the fuck they were talking about. The, and I just responded with the, a smile the, and a thumbs up. You're a yeah, poser. The salesman, yeah. the salesman, I, I'm pretty sure said, this is going to be hilarious. I'm going to get this, <laughs> I'm going to get this tour is going to get jacked. But <laughs> at the very last moment, he had a conscience. He said, yeah, this, you should be fine, but just don't, don't go to the Bronx. <laughs> yeah, he, he actually did say that, though, which I feel like would be insensitive. Honestly. No, he it's, doesn't it's not safe. It's, yeah, insensitive. That people are willing to set you up for a joke. Mm. They're willing to do that. Mm. And they're willing to see you get your ass beat for that. They have no problem. They get their phones out. Yo, I just sold this moron. World and star. Exactly. World star. They be taking videos of you. So I was going to get world star? <laughs> oh, I wish you did. Okay. Oh, I wish you did. We would repost that every oh, day. I son. mean, honestly, not me. Dumb them. tourist. No, no, no. He's not a dumb tourist. He's dumb champsy. Put a name to it. Shoot, <laughs> the way I was looking at it, I am. Um, this is I'm representing the city. No, like, you're not from the city. No, but I'm I'm showing love by wearing their did, jersey. Did we not? F- I'm, I'm, you are, yeah, I'm not supporting. Context. I'm you supporting the capitalist no, machine no, of the New no, York did Yankees. We, did we not have by no, two back to back episodes with Drake and Kendrick about representing cities and what does and culture values? 
Yeah, well, I'm, yeah. I'm a tourist. Mm. Yeah, say. you're the Drake. Oh, so you're an exception. Uh, you're anyway. a fan. So basically yeah. what you're saying you're right now is that all you're tourists... Fan. Mm. You're a fan, you're a fan, you're a fan. <laughs> That's so, what you said. That's so all I said. So you're saying right now it's an exception for all tourists to come to Saudi Arabia, uh, to Riyadh mm. and do whatever the fuck they want to do because they're tourists. That, that's not what I said. No, that's literally what you just said. Saying, you said I'm a tourist, I'm saying, I can do that. I'm saying uh, I think it's fine for me to make fun of a sporting event. For someone event. who works at a place okay. that should understand these hey, things, No, no. you should have never done that. Okay. I'm oh, you're this, right. I'm saying. <laughs> I'm telling you, son. That's even worse. <laughs> it, 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 God, this guy's a moron. <laughs> you fucking suck. I mean, it, <laughs> in terms of a sporting event, I think people should have a sense of humor. Honestly. No, that's what I'm people saying. People take their, their team seriously, and you know that. Yeah, that's what I'm you saying. You just survived yeah. an ass whooping. You're lucky true, that you get an ass whooping. If, 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 if the Yankees had actually was if the series was actually competitive and the Yankees had lost by a close margin. Honestly, I wouldn't have done that. But the fact is, Dodgers was a much better team. Everybody knew Dodgers was a much yeah, better so team. Yeah, so they got hurt even more. Everybody, and now it's funny. No, and everybody expected the Dodgers to win, you know? So it's the, That's not an excuse, though. Uh, that's, that's, that's my excuse. Hey, man, that's my I, excuse. When you left from me, I told you what. I was like, yo, listen. Don't be do dumb shit. careful. Don't do <laughs> dumb <laughs> shit. <laughs> I warned you. Yeah, that's what he said. He said, don't do dumb shit. You know? First thing he does, uh-huh, I think it's funny. I'll put loser on the back. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, see, I didn't do that. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. You still got it. Uh, you know, my, yeah. all right, all right. You don't want to tell the people that people almost put you in the corner. Fine. It's all good. No, they didn't. Yeah, okay, sure. You know? They didn't. Okay. I had a few fun conversations. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have it. Fists were involved. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fist <of sun. laughs> so when you were in New York, mm-hmm. I miss this city, by the way. Uh, it's, a, it's a great city. It's an amazing city. It's a fucking amazing city. It's an incredible city, 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 honestly. We're not, we're not going to negotiate this. Yeah. True. But um, what I want to know is you were there on election day. Mm. Mm. Yeah. When Trumpito mm. made it to the White House. Boys, 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 boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how was the feeling in the democratic city of New York? Uh, very weird. Peop- it was silent. It was kind of eerie in a sense that people were kind of resigned to it. Like, you know, they were like, oh, I think they were expecting it. I don't think they were expecting Kamala to win. That's that's the sense that I got. They voted the all blue. Trust me. They no, no, I'm not, I'm, but, but I'm not talking. New York obviously is, is a democratic but, state. So is California. Yeah. But... But it's the rest of the country. No, and even New York, like Trump, like made some double digit gains. Yeah, the, he, he like, made it everywhere. Yeah, I'm like, yo, what, what's happening to mm. our New York? Uh, a lot of pe- the sense that I got that a lot of people, like, obviously, I didn't bring it up. That I didn't like open up the discussions, but I would hear. Thank God. No, no, <laughs> I would, I would hear discussions, you know, happening on the street, on the restaurant, on the train, on the subway. The sense that I got that a lot of people just didn't believe a single word that Kamala said. She, they, they felt that she was completely fake. And that was, the, you know, the contrast with Trump being, you know, the guy that's known for saying what's on his mind and being, appearing truthful to to his massive voters as a huge contrast. Mm, sounds so, like eight years ago. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a repeat, honestly. Um, so yeah, it was it was weird. It was, un- it was unsettled. The city felt unsettled, honestly. But resigned at the same time because, you know, I think the difference between this race and previous races was just like the overwhelming majority of Trump got. Like out no, of like 15, nobody, nobody could dispute the fact that you know. Like out eight, of fifteen of my boys, there was only two Republicans. Now they're all Republicans. Oh really? Yeah, that's bad. That huh? switch was heavy. That bad. How this, long did that the switch, switch take? Was, was, that, it, was it instantaneous? No, this is the first time they ever vote Republican, except the for the first time. Really, first time ever. Sure. No, no, I think. Sure, there's a lot of factors that go into this, but, but I think the basic one is Democrats are just inauthentic. Simple as that. Nobody believes the word that they said. That's literally what everybody's talking yeah, about. It's like they're not, you are not genuine. And I think a lot of the values that Democrats have spoused in terms of human rights and stuff, you're seeing that go down the drain. Yeah. You've been seeing that go down the drain for the past year. And the rest of the stuff that Democrats actually care about, which is the culture war stuff, nobody else in the country yeah. really gives so- a shit about. Did, go, go, go. Did, you, did you see AOC remove the pronouns from her <coughs> to her bio? Yes, yes, I saw that. Who? The what? death of pronouns. Yeah, AOC, the H- Hispanic uh, uh, congressman, senator, whatever, from the squad. Mm-hmm. From New York. From New York. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So she's a local uh, favorite there. She has her pronouns in her bio a few, a few for years. She, her. Mm-hmm. Now, they don't exist. It's like, hmm, I am adapting to what the electric wants. Well, that's what happened over the last couple of years. The, like, when I was talking to my boys, like, well, what made you want to switch? Like, is it the economy, whatever? Like, listen, like, oh, before it used to be Republicans were far right. Mm. 
and we were the middle ground, mm. right? We will take some things from the Republicans, but we'll focus on the working class. Centrists, supposedly. <clears throat> so he's like, the Obama days were just like the peak of all of this. Mm. And it was just perfect. It was clean. And then after Obama, when Joe came back, he's like, we all voted for Joe because we wanted the normalcy back, mm. what Obama gave us. Mm. And then ever since Joe walked into the office, we got nothing of that. We just got downhills after downhills. Economy is down. Uh, they're talking about a lot of things that has to do with their children and their families. They don't feel like their family is protected. The parents don't feel like they're protected now against their children also. They feel like there's a lot of things that have been taken away from so many people. And now all of a sudden, when we're supposed to all have rights, now we all have like these demands. It's no longer rights. Yeah. Right? Are, we, are we talking in terms of, of culture or in terms of economy? In terms of culture, economy, everything. Mm. Right? They feel like, you know, the, okay, this party exists, but it doesn't work for me. It's looking for no people to work for. Mm. Right? Like the best example I can give you, because I was discussing this with the boys a few weeks ago. So... Do you remember with the whole migrant thing that the Democrats were doing, mm. getting people into Texas? Mm. Like to me, it felt like it was a play because, hey. Change if, the electorate base. Exactly. Yeah. If we get enough people in and we say, we got you in and we got your citizenship, enough now you Latinos. vote blue. Exactly. Yeah. When you vote blue, you kind of ruin Texas rather than voting 80% red. You switch. Mm. Yeah. It's going to have, yo, we're going to change it up. We can win some percentage over there. Mm. And then Texas picked that up on that and started sending them to New York. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they start flooding New York with them, right? Yeah. And when that happened, like all they did the whole time was search for more people for votes to come in rather than actually give you a policy, mm. right? And when Kamala came in, she just dropped the ball at one day after another, right? Oh, I'm going to do this. How? Oh, vibes. Uh, how was working with, like for the last four years with uh, Joe Biden? Will you change anything? No, I won't change anything. Okay. Like since you don't see that this is a problem and we're all looking for change. This is an issue for us. So all of them made the switch because they felt like this whole party doesn't speak to me anymore. Mm. I have more of a chance of making change being a Republican than I am being a Democrat. Question. Is that being a Republican or is that Trump? Just a a lot of them, it's not even for Trump. It's what could be done yeah. for me, right? This party doesn't care about me. It cares priorities. about the yeah. next thing. It's, it's, party priorities, basically. It's, exactly. That's the classic scenario. I didn't leave... The Democratic Party, the Democratic Party left me. Mm -hmm. And and the numbers actually, like I was I was reading, I was uh, I saw somebody post something and it showed that spectrum that you're talking about where 15, 16 years ago, these people that were at the center and at some point the Democratic Party just started moving so far to the left in terms of its identity, uh -huh. in terms of its policies, that the center they became they ended up becoming on the right rather than you know staying at the center the center just moved all the way there so for them these people naturally felt like at this point the only thing that represents me is the republican party because the democrat party is just going so far doing that direction where at this point that's i think that's one of the issues with trying to appeal to so many different demographics you're trying to appeal to the latinos you're trying to appeal to the lgbt community you're trying to appeal to the arabs you're trying to appeal to, and even that like you know you're looking at michigan Michigan completely flipped. It's the first time, I think, in in long, long time. We were talking about yeah. it last episode with uh, shout out to Ray Noor uh, when we were Great discussing episode, this mm. one. Uh, the Michigan with the Arab. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're like, I told him, I was like, I think they made the switch just to teach Democrats a lesson. Yeah. yeah. And no yeah. more. Like, it, we'll, we'll vote blue again, maybe. But right now, no, no, for what happened in Gaza, we're not going to give you that. Yeah. We're not voting for the guy that's giving them money to bomb exactly. Muslims all day long. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Even though they know the next guy's going to do the same exact thing. More, but let's teach them a lesson to say that our votes have value. Yeah. And and at this point, nobody, I don't know where Trump is going to go with this whole thing. He might, it might actually end up in a worse place than it was under Democrats. But I think a lot of them were just, just angry. They weren't being heard. I, I, they weren't being responded to. They didn't see a change in American he, policies. He won but, all seven swing states, all of them. Like, it was a shout-out, shout-out. Mm. Anyway, so the feeling was err. The feeling was fuck, you know, in a sense. Like, hmm. it was resignation. It was resignation. Like, okay, yeah. We'll, this we'll is surrender coming. ourselves. Yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, exactly. There's nothing we can do about this. The rest of the country spoke. Uh, let's, just, let's just ride this out. Let's mm. just hope this goes. We can make it through this, you know? And uh, but then, then again, that's the thing. Like when you're in a place like, like New York, you feel like you're in the center of the universe. But the U.S. is a huge place. There's a lot of different people with a lot of different opinions. Now that you just came back from New York, I'm sorry, I'm second to New York. It's my fucking city. I love that shit, right? Mm. I want to ask you something because we were talking about it before we started the podcast, right? We were talking about all the places that you visited, you know, mm. the lounges and so on, and the, some of the stores you went to and the 
I don't know, Caribbean place that you pass by, <laughs> right? <laughs> this, this place, this city is diverse is such an understatement. There's, it's just everything. There's from the top to the bottom. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Uh, yeah. Like, this is an issue that I faced over here when trying to build a community. Mm. So like back in the day, uh, you guys remember this, I was going to open a coffee place in Riyadh. Mm. Mm. Never mind the one in Sharqiyya, right? And so when I was looking at it, I had a specific vibe that I was going for. Mm. And then when I was looking around, it's been the same issue that I faced anywhere in Riyadh. Okay. You cannot open up a coffee place and build a community around it because the, com- the community has to already exist there. Yeah. You just, you know, come in and just plug Tap yourself in. It. Yeah. Right? Here, it's drive throughs are more important than having a good place. Delivery is more important. You cannot build a sense of community because the community is not close. The community has to drive to you. No, yeah. I, th- I think that changed. Yeah, uh, okay, p- the, people still have to drive to exactly. you. Exactly. But, but the drive through and the delivery still have their value. But you do see a lot of communities and a lot of cafes. You, no, no. I think I think it's growing slowly. I've noticed a yeah. trend of neighborhood cafes. Okay. True. Where you have one cafe that's just packed and it's usually on a side street. And, and, and it, has, it has regulars. It has People regulars. Just, yes. Exactly. Come yes. there daily. A neighborhood coffee. They just started it. The ones that are close to me right here. 90% of the people inside are night from the neighborhood. Yeah, okay. True. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. I know. Yeah. But they're looking right. for that specific community. They're going there for something specific. They're not looking for a community. They didn't hear that there was a community that was doing something that came to be a part of it. No, they heard there was, yo, people go hang out over there and that's where we go. It's a spot. It's a spot. It's a spot, yeah. I've, exactly. We create spots. Mm. We don't build community. So, uh, yeah, I see the difference. True. Yes. Yes. True, true, true. Spots are temporary. Community is, is permanent. I community see, yeah, lives. I, I, I community see that lasts. now, yeah. Yeah, how that, many- that's been always the issue to have. When you were talking about the Caribbean place, what mm. did you tell me? You said, hey, she fought against the city for the property. Yeah, so I was telling them about a place that we went to, which was basically something social club, right? And it, it's basically felt like someone's mulhag. It's someone's basement. You walk in, there's home-cooked food being served to people. There's people playing dominoes. There's people playing pool. And it just felt like everybody knew everybody else there. And not just that. We we we, and we were talking to some of the people who went there regularly, and they were telling us the story of the place. So the the place is in the middle of the neighborhood that was being gentrified, and they tried to take the spot from this old grandmother that ran the spot, and then she gathered up the local community, and they fought against the city. They sued the city for the right to keep the place, for the right to keep the rent, and to keep it as it was without any change. Yeah, rent control. And yeah, and if, and they won that suit, and it, and and one of the stories that they were telling me, and this basically became the spot where people who would arrive to New York from Puerto Rico would be welcomed. Like if you're new to the city and you don't know anyone, you come here, we'll help you find a job, we'll help you find a place, we'll help you find a community. And it was a nice thing to be, you know, to see, honestly, because it felt that real and that genuine. And that's the problem. Rebuilding a community requires that community wanting to be involved. Mm. Here, it's very hard. Everyone here has to build for something for like-minded people. Mm. We call it community. Mm. We call it, this is the creative community, but it's actually for like-minded people. It's not part of the community. It doesn't mm. give back to the community. Tell it doesn't do nothing. It's What's not, the difference? It's, it's not, no, no, but so no. What's, What's the difference between what? Yeah, between like-minded people or community. So the, the community is diverse. Not for me, exactly. for the real listener, but go ahead. No, no, the listener understands. No, no, the, tell, the, the, tell the listener. But, just no, 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 okay, we're not going to do this again, right? Yeah. We keep saying this over and over again. We had this conversation about community a hundred million no, no, times, sure, I think and it doesn't make any difference. It's the difference between a click and a community. A click, you know, is temporary. It dissolves. It changes the people who are in it and out of it. It has its different moves and swings. A community is much bigger it's, than that. It's, it's a it's, staple. Yeah. It's something mm. that always existed. Settled. Your grandma mm. knows that place. Your dad knows that place. Everyone you know around you has passed I, by that place. I think, mm-hmm. I think the difference is you see the same people in the same places together at the same time. That's a click. A community is something that is beyond the people, I would say. Yes. Yeah, and a it's, community is... is it's, mm. No, no, look at it this way. Okay, so you open up a coffee shop like this. Like I, Recently, I've seen it somewhere. Okay, I can't tell you where I was traveling. Anyway, I was somewhere. And the place that was I was looking at, it was a coffee shop. Mm. This coffee shop existed forever. Every person that walked by said what's up to the person working there. Mm. And then one lady was talking about how she saw his dad working there when he was working under his grandfather. Wow. 
So the neighborhood all know that this space exists. It's a legacy. A community, if I'm opening a creative place inside a community, is supposed to empower the kids of the community, the people in the community, to come in and explore things, and this could encourage them to take this path. Mm. You open up a little soccer community next to it, they learn how to play football. Sorry, I said soccer because it's New York. But you, they learn how to play football. You build this for the community. You help whoever is involved in that community evolve. So you make it accessible. It's not mm. about accessible. Mm. It's about improving what you have, right? Mm. You're giving options to the community to do things. And if you, if I have a space where creatives can come in, it means the community that already exists can come in and be creative here. Yeah. And it can be empowered. They may learn something new. It's, there's a lot of give back to it, mm. right? Like you just said, anyone from Puerto Rico that comes in, they can come to this place, they'll find help. Mm. So it becomes something that's important. We don't have that. You can't build that. You can't replicate it. I think one of the biggest issues why we don't have this is because we are a driving city. We are a driving yeah, true. city. Yes. True. Uh, I, you can't I build something in, in the middle of a neighborhood and expect everyone in that neighborhood to uh, to walk to you. No, I think... It's going to be someone like three neighborhoods away just driving to you because of that specific thing Turks that you took offer. me to a neighborhood coffee a couple of years ago, remember? Oh, back in the day. Yes. Yeah. So when he took me there, like he said a few minutes ago, they, they have regulars. That yeah. was built for that community. Like that place was not built just as a business. No, we come in, like we were there for like four hours, maybe three people walked in. Yeah. No, but you so can do that for a community. Can you, can you say that, Any, for example, can you say that LA doesn't have communities? LA has communities. No but LA, but LA is also a driving city, no? Yeah, but LA is so huge. Like in one community, there's so much diverse. A community is a, a lot of things evolved into it. Mm. I think it, I think the part it's not just it's not just because we're a drive. I think us being a driving city is a part of it because usually the places that you frequent that you go to are not necessarily going to be close to your house. Nowadays, that is changing. When we talk about neighborhood cafes, you do have that happening slowly. But I also think a big part of it is the fact that as a city, we are changing in a very, very fast way. Like we're evolving very quickly for a city and we're growing very quickly where it, there's, it just we haven't been able to catch up with each other in terms of having enough time to build that kind of thing, you know? Yeah, no, I totally disagree. Mm, no, no way, bro. I, I think it's completely different. That's a different. stretch. That's a stretch. No, I, I, no, no. <clears throat> I, I, I believe it's, um, it, it's, it, it has to do with the lack of community that you find over there. We already have communities. We are You, you grow up, you have your family, your, your, your friends around you, your neighbors, everything. So these are the people when you're, when you're winding down at the end of the day, these are the people you go see. Mm. Over there in the States, I think that is lacking a it's little more, bit. It's yeah. more, much more personal. Exactly. It's, it's much you're more 18, move out, go figure out your whole life, your your shit, your click, your community and everything. Mm. So because they don't have that click, they have to, or that, that community, they have to outsource it somewhere. They have to attach it to a place. They have to attach it to a cafe, uh, a lounge or whatever. And I would also say like that community is also for a large part transitional. Like you would find that community for the moment for where you are in life and you move on and you find, for lack of a better term, you find a new tribe. But that community mm. is still going to exist. You know, that's that's the True. difference between the community yeah. and the clique. The community, yeah, out, a community outlives exists you. if it's already within a community. Mm. Because people there will always support Maintain it. it. But if I'm with, if my existence relies on other people coming to me from away, that's very difficult. Like, okay, so all these, like one of my friends called me up. He was like, yo, I'm going to open up this like mom and shop uh, store. It's going to be like a lounge. It's going to be very key. They're like down to earth. I want to find me a good block. And then I just want to like, you know, want to open to the public. And he was describing to me. And I was telling him, I was like, oh, like the place we saw. He's like, yeah, that, that same place. I was like, do you know why it works over there? It's because the whole city walks. And you have so many people who that might just come in. Even if your neighbors don't come in, there's so much foot traffic in front of you that people will come in to get a coffee, to get a bagel, to get whatever, mm. right? Here, people need to drive to you. And the people in your neighborhood are not going to be there in front of you. They're not going to come to you to get coffee. Mm. They're not going to come, because house, and to chat at the jaddy, house, you should be jaddy for everybody. Mm. It's never like a sense of belonging. Uh, everywhere else, with 100 people walking in front of you every single day, You'll make the money to even just pay rent at least. Mm -hmm. it's, there's so many things. It's just very hard. Like this is why when you look at like one creative sector we have over here, right? I don't want to mention the names so they don't get angry, mm -hmm. right? All of them, if people don't drive, the place will be dead. 
So people have to get up and drive. So it means I have to put in my in my schedule that one hour drive to get to that one place so I can see like-minded people. So part of it is also maybe the fact that it's not organic. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. Yeah. And it's not organic because it's something that was created and not something that was birthed naturally by the people who were there, in a sense. I see that. I would agree with that, honestly. Because keep in mind, I've never seen a community that has to do marketing. Mm. Hmm. Communities make announcements. Yeah. Yeah. If you're doing a lot of marketing, <laughs> I don't know how is that a community. Why are you trying to market yourself? Yeah. You're supposed to it be used to be yourself. flyers that, you know, on our school board. We see them. Yo, this is happening. This, this, and this is doing this. We see a flyers on the street, like word of mouth. I've never yeah, seen that's an smart, advertisement. That's smart. Yeah. It's different no, no, but that, no, but that's no, but that's what it was. It was because you're talking to your local community. Mm, you're not trying to spend money. Exactly. I'm not talking people. to someone down the block yeah. or like you know two floors down the neighborhood. No, I'm just I'm trying to figure out the people next to me want them to come. So you think that we won't be able to change that unless we change and become a more pedestrian friendly city? Is that I it? think that's one thing. Yeah, the I think that's one thing. One I do thing. agree. It's one thing. The other thing is we. It has to do with how we do our housings, by mm. the way, to be honest, Danny. Mm -hmm. Right? If we can just change the way that we do things, because the way we're structured is you have a block of homes and then just main streets where businesses are. I think the same as almost Barcelona and everywhere else. Oh, no, no. Barcelona is very different. Yeah. 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 Barcelona is very different. Yeah. They have like... Yeah, the squares. The yeah, squares. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is if I get inside a neighborhood and it's all dead because it's just people, residents living there, okay. right? There's I'm not going to feel nothing from the neighborhood. Like when I when I was looking for neighbors when I was abroad, mm. I go look up the neighborhood itself, right? When I'm looking for an apartment. Yeah. Because what does that neighborhood have to offer? Because that's very important in getting people to come in. Mm. We don't have that. If I tell you, oh, I live in this area, what do you guys have? Oh, well, just two main streets that are basically business streets. <laughs> yeah, mm. And the Fawal is even next to your house. It's yeah. on the main street. It doesn't yeah, matter. It, it, whatever you have in your neighborhood doesn't even matter. But it's all on the main street. That's what I'm saying. It's not inside your neighborhood. Yeah. The only thing that was inside your neighbor was a bagala. Yeah, true. Or the maqsara. Halak. Mumkin khayyat. Yeah. Khayyat is essential. Yeah, true. True. But so, yeah, the, but what, whatever offering your neighborhood gives you, it doesn't matter whatsoever. No. You you move somewhere else, what, where are they going to ask you? Are they going to ask you, oh, what do you have there? Nobody's going to ask you that. <laughs> yes, but <laughs> how far are you from other places? That's the only thing that matters. Yeah, because in this exact because we're a driving city. Yeah. No, but uh, I think like what you just said. I know. Mm. Back then, like I was, I didn't grow up here. But I, like when I hear my relatives and a few of my friends, they talk about it. Back then, كان في حلاق الحارة. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You yes. used to have that. You used yeah. to have that. الحارة. Yeah, true. So that was a sense of community. That was something for that neighborhood. You knew them by name. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, true. Come on. Yeah. Mama, look how it's done. Like that was that was the vibe. Yes. Flash, Bukhara, flash. Bukhara, Bukhara, Bukhara. Because it was in the neighborhood. Yeah. I think I think that's true. That's true. I think one other thing maybe that stood out to me because I went to New York and I went to London and and the city has a similarity in terms of being congested. <laughs> no, no, no. Congested, yes, definitely, definitely. Yes, so congested. is your nose? No, no. But and uh, it had so many different nations living within the one city. It, you had you had your Chinatown. You had your Koreatown. You had your Jamaica town, you had you had Jamaica, whatever. Jamaica, you, not had, Jamaica. you had all of these different. The racism was creeping up real yeah. quick. Okay. <laughs> you, you had you had Jamaica. All, <laughs> you had all of these communities that lived right next to each other in a very congested area. Hence, mm. it's becoming a much more, you know, community kind of. Vibe. So you're saying it's. But you do have community. So you're saying it's a concrete jungle where dreams are made of. <laughs> Yo, no. Stop what it. I'm saying that's my is, joke. Stop no, that, that's something totally different. What I'm saying is communities. That's a culture. You're adding. Yeah. That's that's a, that's why it's in New York is a melting pot of cultures, right? That's totally different than what a community is. You can have communities like if you go to like Virginia, mm. like you know, it's not a melting pot of cultures, but they have sense of communities in certain places. I mean, mm. there is a melting pot. There's like the many mayonnaise people. Yeah. Right. There's the cheese people. Right. There's the mountain people. Okay. Yes, <laughs> you know. Anyway, we solved community. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. No, it's just. Uh, it's, uh, I think a big part of it is just the the way the city is structured. Yes, driving a part of it. The congestion is definitely a part. Of the density is another part of it as well. And I think the fact that really, like, and I saw this in in, in London that. Certain areas definitely because they have a certain population that that you you know dominates the area has that community area around itself. You know the Sri Lankan area will have a Sri Lankan place that everybody 
Sri Lankan in this area is going to know and go to, and they know the mom and the pops basically. Mm. So it does have that. I think. I think that's maybe something else that oh, we you, don't have. No, here. You do. You do have those. You do have those small communities. Areas. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But you know, you never go to those neighborhoods. Exactly. You have, you have, it, you have it for Aliyah yeah. as well. Yeah. I want to see. I want to see him in Al Batha. <laughs> I mean, he he would have a puffer jacket, uh, a yeah. sun hat, and a uh, like, mm, uh, so film so camera. Like, culture. Yeah. Culture. So culture. culture. It is culture, guys. So it it's is. a community. You guys are going to go talk about other things? Good. There's a lot of things going on lately. So I don't know. Y'all want something light? Light? Something we're light. Like, we're like 40 minutes in. Yeah. <laughs> mm. um, UAE passes law. To hmm? treat every Khaliji investor as if he was Emirati. Interesting. Khalijuna Wahid, indeed. This was like two weeks ago. This is a so interesting. Very good news. More integration, more brotherhood, more friendship. Mm. I think Saudi passed a similar law a while ago. More money. Didn't they? I don't know. To be I don't think in terms of investors, but I think it was in, in the, anyone from the Khalij is treated as a Saudi here. In terms of jobs, I think. In terms, Yes. Yeah. Mm. I, that, that I think, yes. Yeah, I remember that happened like years yeah. ago. So I, I think it's, it's basically nothing is different when it comes to hiring a Khaliji versus hiring a local. Interesting. And this that. comes from our long, long time uh, standing standing together as a GCC, working together and trying to... Especially at this time, we need to be very, very close. No, no, and, and for people who are maybe unaware of the backstory, <laughs> like the GCC, which is the Gulf Cooperation Council, is... Uh, an, an, an organization that was set up in the early 80s to basically bring together the Gulf nations to, uh, and, and integrate them in a better way. Now, this might sound weird to y'all, but we actually have a lot in common in terms of culture <laughs> and family <laughs> and, you know, just ways of actually Morals, like... Morals, values. Yeah, values, yeah, exactly. History. Yeah. So, so, and I don't know where this actually applies on another another doesn't, example globally. It doesn't, it doesn't. The, the closest thing that comes to mind in Latin America, since they all kind of have similar, you know, yes. traditions as well, but Latin America is a much bigger place than the GCC. So for us, it's much easier to actually find well, no you have another one here commonalities yeah. well, Jordan, Palestine Lebanon, Syria yeah, you know, yeah but they, they don't have a Levant co cooperation council like we have they, yeah they don't yes yeah. But, no, they should but they don't similarities see. yeah mm. so so in terms of the way we look at each other we look at each other very much as brothers we don't I mean, differentiate I, I'm, I'm pretty sure every single person on this podcast has family ties with another country in the GCC somehow. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I know, I can count two here from my end. And uh, half my, my family, basically. So The whole family. Uh, my, 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 Y'all the odd ones out. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, yeah, we are. Yeah, actually the odd ones out. <laughs> We're here. <laughs> you know. We love you. No, but I think that's that's good news for, for the UAE because it just opens up the door for so much more money to come to the country as well. Yes. You know? More investments. Don't forget. More ties. Don't no, for real, like, we, we, like the Gulf countries need to be closer than ever before now, especially at these changing times. And so far, we're seeing this. We're seeing like, you know, like everyone's holding on to each other. One fist is stronger than one finger. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> pause. Yeah. Yo, stop. Pause. Stop saying stuff. Pause. Yo, pause. stop. <laughs> one finger stands alone. No, no, no. no. Don't, alone. Don't, don't, don't. Easily this, beaten. This but, is my This is my area. But <laughs> fist, fist of countries <laughs> yeah. can smash through no, problems. No, no, stop, 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 stop. Well, guys, the analogy works. Uh, no, it doesn't work. I don't know what you're no, not getting here. It doesn't work. All of it. All of it is nasty. All of it is nasty. I don't want to get any of it. Or so take any of it. <laughs> I'm just saying, when we strand together, we are stronger. Yeah, don't don't, don't they, do that. Yeah. Like, I, I really like what's happening in Kuwait lately. What's happening what's in Kuwait? Happened? A lot of things. <laughs> yeah. Uh, a lot of changes since uh, the new Amir came in. Mm -hmm. uh, the parliament was dissolved. Yeah. Which that, was amazing. Yeah, that happened a while ago. Yeah, thank God. That had to happen. That had yeah, to happen, bro. Had to happen. It had to happen because there was a lot of foreign money coming in and a lot of foreign interests that were trying to mess the country exactly. up. Yeah, mess up with the country and tear it apart. I'm going to miss the memes, though. No, no, I'm really happy for our brothers and sisters in Kuwait. Uh, God bless them. Do you yeah. see the leaked phone call? No. What? The, from the Ministry of Interior with someone he's talking, one of the advocates abroad. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um so the the person who was abroad recorded the uh, the phone call and started to put it out to the public thinking okay. that's going to make him look bad and it just backfired. Was it regarding a certain actor? Was it an actor or was it the head of Rotana? Uh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah, that's... it was the head of Rotana. Okay. He was talking about he's like hey listen so you've been abroad for I don't know how many years right now talking about how you don't like Kuwait you don't want to be in Kuwait. All right. We're going to take away your citizenship. Since you don't want to be here, you don't have to be here. I don't know why should I keep you as Kuwaiti. 
if all you're doing outside saying, go, we're a bad country and you don't want to be here anymore, fine, just don't be here. And that's when mm. you realize that you, when you chat shit, you can get banged. <laughs> and <laughs> the was, guy was like, he's like, oh, also the people, because during the parliament, some people got uh, Kuwaiti citizenships. Okay. Right? And he's like, everybody that took a Kuwaiti citizenship illegally, we're going to remove them. Anyone mm. that doesn't bring value to the country, we're going to take away their citizenship. And the first person they started with was the head of Rotana. Okay. Yes. Uh, that's Yo. weird. No. How is it weird? Why the head of Bahrain, Rotana? Bahrain did the same exact thing. Okay. Bahrain announced, like, I think it was last year, like, hey, anybody that got citizenship, we're going to look back into it. If you uh, add and how that, you had it. Exactly. Or how you got it. Basically. Exactly. Okay. Uh, mm. You got a hookup to get citizenship. No, no, son, it's not going to work. Mm. So they're reviewing everybody's citizenship again. So he's really coming in trying to clean up house and something that Kuwait needed for a while. I think the biggest problem Kuwait had for a long time is just because the fact that you had all of these different interests that's coming and pouring in money into the into into the country, buying into the people. parliament, buying people, yeah, buying politicians, yes, buying politicians, buying interests, buying agendas, basically, and that just roiled society. And you had people you know, fighting in parliament basically just because you had different yes. countries and back check la, and check and check la, and check so <laughs> again the, inst- the, the fact that you don't have long <laughs> that's the parliament the bad yeah, people no 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 stop no? stop okay. stop with your fists is, is this gonna be the new symbol of the no, no that's no, even worse no. okay. mm-hmm. believe me believe me <laughs> <laughs> oh you can <laughs> uppercuts <laughs> you know anyway. this is how we rise you anyway, anyway, we next. rise together no you rise by yourself so. okay. oh my god anyway <laughs> shout out to our brothers and sisters in the GCC we just hey, solved uh, international cooperation <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you know? uh, good job guys anyway on uh, Mendoop premiered on Netflix oh it did oh yeah I just heard okay. yes number one nice. yes in the top ten nice that's cool I actually saw it on the on the plane they were actually showing it on Saudi Airlines as well so you saw it whole, for the first time no, no, no. I saw it as oh, how, okay. how was it revisiting it had. Um, I, I kind it's of, perfect for the play. You know, no, honestly, I, I watched a little bit and I was like, okay, I'm kind of sleepy. I, I don't want to ruin the movie by sleeping through it, so I'll just watch it at later. Mm. But I'm glad that it's on, it's on, uh, it's on Netflix. So everybody that kept asking us when we were reviewing it, oh, I want to go to a cinema. Now you have it on Netflix. You have a home cinema. Shout out to our boys in 2011. Yeah. Good luck to y'all. Enjoy yeah. it with your popcorn. Yeah. Exactly. Popped up on Netflix, number one automatically. Like, popped up on Netflix. All popped up on a Thursday night. <laughs> no, it's, it speaks to the quality of the of the movie, honestly. Double T. Yeah, it <laughs> speaks to how good it is compared to other competitive comparative seven movies. Did Mendoop have a longer run than uh, Sattar? It felt longer. It felt longer, right? Yeah. What was it? It it's, felt it's, like it was. It's, it's still longer. it's still it's still running in, in international festivals. Like I'm still seeing them. That's different. You know, yeah. uh, sh- showing up in different different international festivals. I'm not sure if it had a longer run, but I think it had a wider distribution. Maybe did Sattar show up on on Sattar was in London, was in Egypt. No, no, but show up <laughs> on you know Saudi, Sattar was there for a minute. Saudi airplanes, for example, and it wasn't part of the movie selection this time around. I think I think it was on an airplane. Someone told me, I think Sattar is on. Yeah, an airplane I think somewhere. most of the major movies are on Saudi. Oh, well, didn't Sattar go on Netflix? It did. It did. Yeah, then yeah, that, it of did. course, yeah, yeah, it did. Okay, then, yeah. I mean, shout out to the boys. Best of luck. Looking forward to seeing the next successful Tilfaz 11 movie, honestly. Yeah, can't wait for that one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's the name? There was a young man that was hitting a senior citizen the other day. Wait a minute. Me and, Hadel. Let, let, me and Hadel. let him tell you about it. Okay. No, you're, you're, uh, not, getting, you're, you're not getting what he's, what he's yeah. putting down. Okay. Uh, you didn't see Paul versus Mike Tyson? It still applies. First off, I was awake. Okay. Right. I was like, you know what? Let's put this on. How boring was it? Did you see it? I've I've seen like it's just like playing keep away for three rounds. So eight rounds. Oh, keep sorry. away. How, wait. How, it was eight rounds. Let me. I when did it start? That's the question. Because I know it started. Start at four a.m. Officially. Officially. But the main card. Seven thirty in the morning. Oh, so they had multiple cards. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And thank is, God they did. Then the <laughs> <laughs> saved it to save the show. Thank God they did. Oh, but. Wasn't the reason they had multiple cards in the first place is because of Mike Tyson? Correct. Yes. Because Mike Tyson used to beat people so quickly that people yes. got disappointed the fact that they paid a lot of money. The second the bell rang, you automatically understood that this man is old. <laughs> <laughs> no one need to tell you anything. He's 58, guys. It was... Look, I'm not going to say it's disappointing. That's not what it was. 
I knew it was going to be. I, look, I'm not going to say it's also a cash grab. I was just happy. I'm going to say it. It's a cash grab. Yeah, yeah, I mean. <laughs> I just, I'm just going to say that Mike Tyson didn't get hurt. And that's good enough for Thank me. God. Oh, really? God. It, was that, rounds, it was that bad. Bro, let me tell you this. A middleweight boxer. Mm. I'm not talking about someone as big as Jack, Jake Paul. A middleweight boxer would have knocked Tyson out. Interesting. You can see that his mind is telling him, do one, two, three. His body is like, I do not have the reach. Mm. I do not have the capacity. I don't have the capacity for that big man. Mm. <laughs> like his reflexes were so slow. He'd be like this almost saying, But isn't that sad to watch? Yeah, man. Right. But he got he got twenty million dollars for this. Right? So, I, I was saying, like, any. Yeah, I mean, so, so, he, I so to, of, be, to be honest, Paul could have rocked him, mm. but Paul was afraid of his punches, obviously, mm. because look, you can say rigged or whatever the hell people want to say right now. Those punches were real. He caught Mike a couple of times, really, and Mike caught him a couple of times. Okay. Okay. Right? But alhamdulillah ended this way. Shuf, I think this is. Very much an example of the modern circus where you are drumming up support for something sensational by going and getting an internet boxer and putting him against the legend I of the mean, game. Here, here's the thing. You know? I, I will so make, it's it's just it's just a circus all around. Yeah. It's, it's this all of this shouldn't exist. I, None will, of this I will make exist. I will make a very controversial argument. Yeah. Jake Paul genuinely right now he is at the level of a professional boxer. However, his opponents are being picked up with the explicit purpose of we're going to get some people that we know for a fact he can beat up. Mm. People no, always for it. No, I'm sorry, are you saying he's a professional boxer? He's at, what, the, he's at the level. No, he's not. He could compete. What I saw against Mike Tyson, that is not someone that is capable of being at the professional level. No way. He could have knocked Tyson out a good 19 times in eight rounds. And he got so close, but he did not have it. He didn't have the heart? No, no, he just didn't have it. He didn't have the skills for it. Mm. He didn't know how to catch him properly. Mm. All he's doing is jabbing from far, jabbing from far. They're coming for a one-two, jabbing from far. Like, he kept running. He was trying to get Mike Tyson tired the whole time. Which is and a, he's been running around the whole time. Which is, he's 58. He doesn't have lungs for it. Okay, okay. Which is a strategically smart, yet morally cowardly But your marketing tactic. was... Your marketing you know? was, I'm going to, so Paul, Jake Paul came into this as a guy who either knocked out every opponent or knocked them down. Yeah. Let me just, I, I pulled up the opponents. So Sartent <laughs> is KSI. So a YouTuber. Okay. Fair. Yeah. Okay. First uh, opponent, YouTuber, YouTuber. It's for the entertainment, whatever. Okay. Second opponent, Ben Askren. Who's As that? an MMA, MMA, MMA fighter. Okay. Caveat. He is a wrestler. He doesn't use his fists. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> and, and it was and, a boxing match? It was a boxing wow. match. Wow. And he had a hip replacement. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's not like a boxer. Boxer's not going to, yo, give me the guy with the... No, no, no. Second. No, no, listen, you're, you're, it's, it's a great money grab. You're yes. fighting a guy who doesn't even know how to put on gloves? Yes. He, Tyron Woodley, twice. Guess what Tyron Woodley is? Streamer. I, another wrestler. Okay. Uh... Anderson Silva, a legend in the game. But he's 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 in his late forties. Okay. He lost as well. Was it a kickboxing or a boxing match? Boxing match. Is it Silva like? Uh, he's truth. one of the greats, but yes. a kickboxing he's, guy. He's like he's one of the greats, but that was yeah. twenty years ago. True. Was it jujitsu or something? Um, MMA in general. He has a jujitsu yeah, background, yeah, yeah. but he's he's known for being a Muay Thai striker. Yeah. Muay Thai. Yes, and for caveat, he broke his leg. Like he snapped it in two, so he is already past his years. Uh, Tommy Fury, who's to, who's Tommy Fury? Uh, the internet personality. No, sound, oh, sound isn't isn't he like uh, related to? Yes, uh, isn't he like his son or something? Shuf, shuf. I think there's. Halgat, did you bring the There's several ways of looking at this from from an economic. Uh, you don't need to look at it in any way, shape, or form. So let me make it easy for you. Before that final main event. Mm -hmm. There was a women's boxing match. Okay. It was, I think, Amanda Seriano. I think so, yes. And uh, some Irish big head named Taylor. Okay. Right? You just say Irish. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what? Isn't she Irish? No, no, they have big heads. They're known for that. All right. Okay. You just like can't yeah. anymore. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, um, event of the year when it comes to boxing. 
Really? The, wo- the woman's batch. Yes. Okay. That one is what got me so hyped for the next one. For the next one. Mm. Because it was that good. She lost, like, it was fight of the year, robbery. You can say all of that. Mm. Okay? Like basically, she got headbutted a couple of times, got her eye oh, open, and the referee was trash. Mm. Even though he deducted a point for her, but what a fight. And I advise everybody with Netflix, go watch that. If you're going to watch anything from that night, you go watch so that. So they set album. it up very nicely, basically. No, I, I didn't know it was going to be that good. It's the first time I yeah, see this two fights. Like it's it. a long event. It's like, what, five, it's like five, five hours? Yeah, something like that. No, but that's, yeah, no, usually, that's, there was, usually, uh, usually boxing cards are three fights at least. Netf- yeah. Netflix didn't have the pro- the capacity to handle the load. Yeah, that was the problem that we had. Mm. Fuck Netflix. Bro, D, 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 they didn't have the capacity. Yes, they didn't yes. It was live streaming. It was live streaming, yes, okay. But and kept, apparently it, 60 million people watched. It kept 60, Okay, let me say that again. 60 million yes, people watched. Yes. That's a lot of people. Yes. Who is okay. it? And, don't have uh, the capacity. Yes, exactly. <laughs> and, and the stream buffered at uh, very inopportune times. Mm. There was a, a shot of Tyson, apparently, that st- stopped for a lot of people. <laughs> was bare ass out cheeked up on a Thursday night <laughs> <Cheeked up. laughs> they, they interviewed Mike Tyson and then he was done he walked away all you see is cheeks <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like stuck frozen <laughs> no the the buffering was a pain in the ass bro I had my iPad opening on a stream my TV on Netflix and I had my phone on a different stream and all of them would lag at different times. So I, miss it. Yeah, I just want to make sure that I don't miss anything. And I wish I missed something. <laughs> no, but, so no, but so no, again, looking at it from, from the different points of view, from Netflix point of view, I'm guessing it was a huge smashing of success. Course, of okay. Course. They made a lot of money no, off of it. You missed the marketing, Shamsi. Mm. Like in the middle, like, you know, between fights, they're talking like, oh, the Karate Kid is here in mm. Cobra Kai. Nah. You can catch their next. No way. They did that like a good nine times. Emily in shows. Paris. <laughs> well, uh, that's clever. Product integration, my guy. That's but, not what they did. It was but, all marketing. But in terms of actual value, this was a joke fight. Like this wasn't a real fight. Yeah, all we, his we, fights are jokes. Yeah, to mm. be honest though. Like I can keep going with his opponents. Another wrestler also retired. But what does this say about the state of culture, guys? That we can't even throw a That wrestling is a, is a scam? Yes. Uh, sorry, that boxing <laughs> is a scam. I mean... There's other types of boxing where you don't have joke fighters fighting. No, it's called boxing. Senior citizens. No, it's called boxing. Okay. I mean, you. I, we can talk about how Ma'ala uh, Turkish Sheikh is saving boxing single handedly. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's caring. That's what I'm boxing. saying, literally. And we, yeah, before before he came around, that joke was a sport. It was that just, sport was a joke. Yeah, that, <laughs> sir. <laughs> I'm, I'm very tired. <laughs> it's, late, it's, very, it's very late at night. I'm very tired. <laughs> I'm no, very no, sleepy. Some, subliminal messaging there. I see it. I see it. Yeah. But that that joke. Oh. That joke was a sport. <laughs> that, breathe, man. Breathe. That sport was a joke because all you had was the best of the best are fighting. So you'd have a guy with a 20 0 boxing record and a guy with 30 0 boxing record. So it makes sense. And hey, let's bring no them together. One, no one was putting up the money. Yes. Mm. Nobody's putting up the fights that yes. people wanted to see. And and both fighters, they all want to fight, but none of them want to fight for cheap mm. because they want at least, at least, if I get my ass kicked, I want I need to make sure I have a back. Mm. And Turkish Sheikh with the other season just came in and was like, you know what? We're going to revive this whole sport. Yes. And I was I was talking to Sense yesterday about this. So my boys watch boxing. Mm. And so we have these conversations about what's happening, what Turkey al Sheikh has been doing lately for boxing. Mm-hmm. And all of them say the same thing. All of them are like, yo, if it wasn't for Yak, like we would not have these amazing fights. Mm-hmm. So the people in boxing understand the value that Saudi, Turkey al Sheikh, the out season is bringing in terms of boxing. So how we're fixing the sport. Exactly. And a lot of people, that's it, like, I saw some people online, they were saying, Oh, Turkish Sheikh is ruining it. Oh, he's just doing this for himself. Yeah, and you go into the comments, it's just people like arguing, like, oh, if you can do better, put up the money, give us the fights. Don't complain about what they're doing. They're doing exactly what we want. If you can do it, how about you put up the money? And that's why everybody shuts the fuck up. Yeah. I mean, if we're actually doing that, then no, no, we're killing yeah, it. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Then people we're should, should, should be nothing but appreciative. We're gonna of kill that, it in right? tennis. We're going to kill it in other sports. Mm. We're going to keep murdering this. And leave the joke. Golf Haganah. And, and, <laughs> and, leave, and leave the joke fights to Netflix, huh? Uh, I remember Tiger Woods. He's like, you know, I'll never go to, go to the golf. Now you're one of us, then. Mm. Oh, he is. Oh, uh, remember Live Golf and PGA Tour combined. Yeah, yeah they combined. Exactly. Yeah. Men here now. Haganah. Ta'ali, I can't. Islahat, you're going to do. We're going to talk about Islah. Anyway, more important news. 
China. Mm -hmm. Doing China things. What's going on in China? Defy. There's how, so, so, how many, China? so many China things. Yeah. So there was the Beijing uh, marathon. Okay. The other day. They had a robot that ran 20 kilometers. That is... What? No. Under two hours. No, that's called a bike. And a half marathon. It ran. It, 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 when There's it? videos of the robot just... With, with <laughs> jogging. <laughs> jogging. <Okay>. jogging. <laughs> just going. Out of breath? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't okay. breathe. You should have It He's jogs. It shouldn't jog either. <laughs> well, they're talking about breathing. That is scary. That is scary. 20 kilometers. But <laughs> I don't know. Most likely, yes. <laughs> 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 That's the <laughs> best Dura <laughs> Salad I've ever seen in my life. I don't know. 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 <laughs> I just want to see you waving on the screen. <laughs> no, no. Uh, anyway, so yeah. So so basically, China is telling us you will not outrun the robot. We, we talked about it when we did the whole Elon Musk robot thing, the I robot, we robot, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mm. told you, like China has been way more advanced than the US when it comes to Chinese robotics. Was Look this up the robotics uh, them flexing on a Boston Dynamics? I just saw a video. Like no one gave me any context. Shoot. Honestly, all, all of a sudden I see like six different videos it. of this robot running around in Beijing. Shoot, I would buy a Chinese robot <sighs> that says, you know, Confucius uh, related. Confucius? Uh, you know, oh, why? Idiot. why? You want to be why? racist toward its own people? No, no. I, I want a smart philosophical robot mm. that can give me the Chinese method in life. Mm -hmm. You know, you are a liar, sir. Just mm. for diversity. So I think the robots would be in your in your home, your office, whatever, and said, "Confucius say, yeah. a, a cup don't love you." <laughs> no, that's not what Confucius say. Confucius, <laughs> Confucius gives better wisdom. Uh, th this is him talking back to the robot. <laughs> <laughs> no robot, that's not what Confucius say. <laughs> no, this is me responding to this. No, uh, <laughs> you know, no. you know, as much as child, like you know, hide racism, yeah. it creeps. No, bro, <laughs> like, like, we see it. I'm talking about like a, a robot. That is empathetic enough to recognize the subtleties of life. Yeah, because we all know robots I'm, have everything. Mr. Empathetic, Bro, did yeah. you notice how you talk to the robot? <laughs> when he said, no, no robot. That's he's, not what Confucius says. He's, he's That's stupid. the grammar you use. That's the grammar with, with, an, with an artificial intelligence. <laughs> That's the language he's using. I respond to this <laughs> dumbass, basically. Mm, Cut so, yourself. Yeah. <sighs> No, but a running That's robot a running robot does not sound fun, honestly. I'm just anyway, next story. Where's he going? <laughs> Why are you it's running? a half a marathon. Why are you running? <laughs> it's a half a marathon, you idiot. Where am I here? <laughs> <laughs> Trend to come. I was going to honestly, while I was traveling. I didn't believe the joggers were real people. Okay? So every time I see a jogger, I would ask myself, is this a real person or is this someone pretending to be a jogger? <laughs> and I've come to the conclusion that they're all glitches in the matrix. Mm -hmm. You know, and they're all just there pretending, like you know, uh, their setting was this, just left this, on run. Yeah, brings right. it back to our conversation. Mm. We're driving city. Mm. That's why you don't think they exist, like yes. Pokemon. There's too many joggers over Shay. It's okay? Pokemon, and it's too Pokemons. cold. Okay, for them to jog that's in shorts. Yeah, that's shit that fucks with me all the it's, time, that's bro. Bad, that's bad. It's too cold for you to walk Look, around. I get it. In I get fucking it. shorts and a tank top. After a minute, right? When you're after, after like 20 minutes while you're jogging, weather doesn't make sense anymore for you. Because mm -hmm. your body temperature is very high. Because mm -hmm. I used to do that. I used to get out with hoodies and everything. But like 10 minutes in, I'm like taking off my hoodie. I, did, I, I didn't believe they were real. Okay. But I'm going to have a horrible program. Horrible program? You mean jail, son. Yeah. <laughs> See, exactly. A horrible program. That's called abuse. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. This is going to be ridiculous. But I'm going to say it to you. Mm. New York State. New York State. Okay. Purchases Dame Dash's shares of Rockefeller. To recoup for his back taxes, child support bill, and debts owed to other collectors. Wait, what? New York State now owns a third of Rockefeller along with Biggs and Jay-Z. You're kidding me. Rockefeller, the whole company. The whole company. Dame Dash sold his share. Well, they took his share. To New York. Actually, he sold his share. He, there was three offers. One was $240,000. The other one was $200 something thousand dollars. And New York came in with a million dollars. Okay, that's very, very low. Let's yes. start there for his shares. Well, Jay-Z offered him, I think, $2 million, like two years ago to sell, and he was like, no, nah, I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> right? And now you just had the state ticket. And now you put it up in the state ticket because you owe a lot of money back. So New York State now owns... A third. A third of, of Jay-Z's catalog? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, that's crazy. That, the whole record label, 
Benny Siegel, everything. Rock Aware. But that doesn't include uh, live, live Nation. No, Live Nation. Live Nation separate. Yes. Okay. Yeah, damn New York. Y'all, y'all, y'all playing now. Does that mean New York have a say in how the business moves? Yeah. They're trying to make their money back. I think he owes like $8 million. Mm-hmm. So they're trying to take that one and turn it into an eight. Interesting. Which goes to show you how bad Dame Dash was as a businessman. Like, really, he was that yeah, bad. Well, yeah. I'm not going to get into that. Yeah. But... That's, Duh. that's that's very that's, 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 <laughs> Duh. No, that's really interesting actually but see and rockefeller hasn't been dropping records in a, in a minute it doesn't matter now yeah. new york state all oh, the yeah. deals jay-z can pull off right now hey, there's, there's concerts still, are gonna be oh, way cheaper y'all, 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 y'all want to make your money back i can easy yeah. okay this is yeah. what i need from y'all summer jam no no Jay-Z jam. i want the, exactly <laughs> yeah. uh, okay so i want you to block off all of brooklyn <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'll have one big block party <laughs> exactly yeah basically no cop presence <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so Jay-Z is New York now Jay-Z has been New York He owns the Nets He owns I don't know A whole lot of other I think shit, he already probably. sold his shares In the Nets I think It's still Jay-Z's team Well anyway yeah. It doesn't matter There's like a couple of topics I want One I'm gonna ignore They actually had week. his jersey in the, in, the sta- in, the, in the stadium Of course they were It's fucking Jay-Z in Brooklyn And Biggie Which was cool I yes. wanna get to Two things One cause it's weird The other one's cause it's interesting Do you know Of course you don't Uh couple of, I think, months ago, Porsche announced that they were going to discontinue two models. I think one of them was the Cayman. Uh, the Cayman, for me, was the most important one, mm-hmm. right? And it was kind of weird, you know, for Porsche to have such a good car and say, you know what? We're going to discontinue this car. That never really happens when a car is selling. The Cayman is the four doors. There's no. That's no. a Panamera. Yeah, Panamera. It's the, the Cayman is like the entry-level one. Okay. It's the one you get first, like the cheaper one. Mm-hmm. But there's, you know, sporty version of the GTS and so on and so on. Anyway. Porsche came out and said the reason why they had to discontinue these two two models. And what do you think it is? Too many un-Porsche people are buying this. No. Give me another one. Mm. I'm telling you, you would not even believe a car company is, is discontinued for this reason. Mm. It's too expensive to make. Okay. No. You. No, no, no. I yeah. stopped giving up. No, 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 Cybersecurity. Okay. You can hack the car? <laughs> yes. It's too hackable? So there's no EU regulations when it comes to ECUs, right? There's no regulation. There's new regulations. New regulations. Right? ECUs? ECUs, car computers, right? Okay. Uh, Electronic. Yes, please. <laughs> Just say car computer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> see, I know who I'm talking to. I know my audience. Okay, yeah, Jesse? Yeah, okay. You yeah. don't need to go detail. Yeah. He doesn't care. The <laughs> computer. <laughs> yeah. Yes. That, that's all he needs to understand. So, cybersecurity and the new, all these new cars is very important, mm-hmm. right? Because all these new cars work over the air. Okay. They all have a SIM card. They all connect, they all download updates. So they're all very hackable. Mm. And so those two models, they have... Too hackable. <laughs> You're too hackable. Yeah. When, for the new regulations, those two car models cannot follow the new regulation. Okay. And it has to do with cost, has to do with so many other things. Mm. Right? So they decided to discontinue it. I don't get it. Like they can't actually switch out the ECU. There it goes into I need to recall every single car that I've ever sold over the last 10 years. So what, happ- what happens to the people who have the old cars they can't drive Enjoy. anymore? Enjoy. Have fun. We no longer <laughs> support this product. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> good luck. Yeah. Two thumbs. Yeah. Yeah, it, it, That's yours. Yeah. That's not mine. It's not yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. The snack there's a resale market. There's a parts market. Doesn't sound like it's a me problem here, sir. <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a me problem. Uh, it's not yeah. a me problem. I sold you a product. The product is obsolete now. You want to keep it? It's up to you. Uh, I think they sent the German equivalent of the Bernersik. The yes. What the fuck? Yes. Hey, they don't want to have Good luck. Yes, have fun. Manjid? Pray you didn't get hacked, son. The buffer of the D. What happens to the DLC? Nope, we don't support this. I don't know about that. No, I think this, in terms of maintenance, they can support it. But yeah. in terms of software updates, all that stuff now. Nah. What's the other car? Uh, I forgot what it was. But I think it's all okay. It's like a. It's, okay. Again, tiny ones. But saying that again, haven't cars been getting hacked for a minute now? That's not. There's nothing new that when, cars are. Like, I've seen a bunch of videos of people, like, hacking cars. No. You've seen people open doors. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's yeah. hacking a car. Yeah, that's not really hacking. Yeah, shit. No, it's a fault from the manufacturer. That's why everybody figured out. Hyundai fell for that. And then Hyundai came out with a fix super quick. Range Rover fell for that. And okay. then Range Rover came out with a, with a solution. Okay. It wasn't hacking. Mm. It was, hey, 
There's an open fucking port, you moron. You don't know how to do this shit? Nah, son, we're a car company. <laughs> <laughs> they need a computer, man. They don't, exactly. have, a, they don't have a computer, man. Yeah. Computer, man. <laughs> computer, man. <laughs> Interesting. So, yeah, it's a, it's a new thing that's been happening. And this actually brought up a very good question, which is, hey, so my car today is fine. Mm. What happens in 10 years? When is Mercedes going to tell me, oh, by the way, you love your car? <laughs> Good that you love it because we don't. We're out. Yeah. My, what happens when there's no longer any software updates in yes, the car? Yes. Because you see that in iPhones. True. When you don't have any software updates. Yes. Windows comes out and says, yo, if you're still using Windows XP, you idiot, right? There's no more security updates for you. Mm. I mean, you're, you using need to update. Wind- you're using Windows XP and the classic, but blah. Look, see, if I have Windows XP, I'm doing modem. If there's a modem, it's a problem. Again with the accent. If there's a modem, it's a problem. Okay. That's <laughs> right. It's in the DNA. <laughs> yeah. No, but and again, I think the bigger problem here is that cars are hackable. I don't want a hackable car. I don't want a car that gets updates from the air. Don't worry about it. You're safe. Okay. Don't worry. Your car, you're safe. Ajwa. But that's the bad thing. 100%. Bro. <laughs> 100%. <laughs> the only thing you need to pay for is spare parts still exist. That's yeah. what you need to pay for. But you're safe. <laughs> you're even safer. <laughs> I mean, a hacker tries <laughs> a hacker tries to hack your car. The computer says, "Ew, no." There is no computer in my car, sir. <laughs> the computer says, "No." No, no, no. I'm asking the car to just There's no computer here, sir. <laughs> <laughs> it's all ja. And then, 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 and it's better, but the gate still for the other. I don't do it. I expect that. Hey, did you join your vacation? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I said, Good, he's like, Where did you get it? I'm like, I did it, you know? Oh, it's the car equivalent of back pain. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. <laughs> I, I remember I passed by once there was no, no I think one of your no, bumpers. It's, 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 the, it's the car equivalent. <laughs> That's so true, by the way. Yeah. That's so true. <laughs> no, no, it's, oh, it's, wow. it's, it's the car equivalent of a shy but you for Mr. Delete for Turkey. It's exactly it, you don't drive, so you don't get a fucking say in I, this conversation. Have, okay, have fine, then I gotta say. Hey, the only time I was looking at your car, I was like, is this scratch new or old? Like I did not know what's the new hits and scratches. Well, now. انت كانت في مرحله من المراحل طلعنا انا وياك وقلت لك يا ابو عبد الله رايك في السياره ما شاء الله بالله مو بنظيفه قلت لي الا والله نظيفه قس وات هابند ذا نيكست تو ويكس ايش؟ اربع خدمات اربع صدمات يعني بصكك عين على ما شاء الله اللامبورجيني حقك اللي واحد قاعد يدق ريوس وواحد بدباب طق شقله في الرجال وين تشوفني طالع طيب؟ يو نو واي؟ لايك هاي واي ذيس ذيس كار ستيل اكزيست هير؟ تيرن المشكله المشكله قام الرجال وكمل عرفت كان عنده مش مشوار توصيل لايك هي وزن هيرت مره مالك عشير ريال فروم ذا ويندو اند ذيس جوف اوف فيكس يور شيت اعطيته 200 هولد اون ديد يو هيت اور يو هيت سم بوي انا قاعد طالع رصيف والرجال وراي قاعد يعدي في الشارع اي فل اي واز هيرت سو يو ار رونغ نو في 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 النور حق الفرامل ما تشوف النور حق الفرامل حق انت طالع ورا برو اي طالع ورا ان ريفرس ام بولينج اوت ان ريفرس يوم اي واز سم وير ان اي ام جوين ريفرس تو ليف اي سي تو جايز ان ذا كورنر ويتنج اوفر ذير اند ام لايك اوكي ذي ار فار اواي اي واز لايك جوين ريفرس ان ذا كار جست ستوبس ايمرجنسي بريكنج ذيس جايز ستوب ووكينج رايت بيهايند مي لايك يو سي ا كار ان ريفرس لا هذا متخلف ذاتس ذا ماجوريتي اوف بيبل هذاك الدباب People don't respect cars. Also, can you come with the help? Anyway, one last thing before we bounce. The most important thing I left it at the best for last. Akid, because people are still a thousand and one seasons with Ali Sarab. Okay, what is that? Yeah, well, what happened? Describe, describe to me things that are happening in Saudi because I've been very disgusted. People are in their feelings. Well, how about we go to that? What is first, it? and then we get to people. What is feelings. it? What is it? Because people's feelings are not important. Right? What is first? What is it? First of all, this was by the off season. Okay. Elisab is one of the greats uh, in fashion. In couture, is he a couture, couture man? Couture guy, yes. Okay. And so he came in. He brought a star-studded performance. I'm guessing he's Lebanese. He originally yes. Mm-hmm. He brought all the models that you can think of. Okay. They brought even local models. They brought international models. Okay. They brought all types of people. Great dresses. Okay. So far, all, so good. All of a sudden. J-Lo is on stage. Okay. So J-Lo was here. Mm-hmm. Doing couture? 
And, wait. and didn't get a whole performance. Okay, nice. And then... But sounds wait, like, there's more. Sounds like a show. And then more fashion show. Okay. And then... Camilla Cabriole. Who? <laughs> Camilla. Who's that? Camilla Cabriole. I call it Cabriole. Wait, I mean, how is it? Cabriole, by the way. Uh, le Kesh. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Camilla Kesh. Kesh. <laughs> but like, she's the one who sang uh, Havana on oh, Anna. Okay. You remember it. Don't tell me you don't remember it. If I were here, probably. You definitely know it. Okay. I know he knows it, but I'm yeah, playing it for me. It's anyway. all over the place. And she said, she didn't say Havana, she said Saudi na na na, and the place went wow. Okay. Mm. So it sounds like so far I, I'm hearing of a, a global level event that sounds amazing, well curated. More shows. By the way, this wasn't the order. I'm just telling you what happened. Okay. Right? More fashion, more wild fashion. So it was all Ali Saab stuff? Yes. Okay. And then Celine Dion comes on. What? Mm -hmm. yeah. Where? Yep. <laughs> just on the stage? Yep. And performs. Mm hmm. Okay. <laughs> yes. Why? You see that? <laughs> yeah, All of that. Like, yo, sitting the Wait, wait, swad, swad, swad. Do, do A-list celebrities usually perform in fashion shows? No. Okay. Do global superstars... If this was music? a celebration. Ah, okay. So it wasn't a regular fashion show. No, no, no. It was... Whoa, no. Mm. The, the fashion commission big can time. never, bro. Mm -hmm. This is like, big Bur time. Burak can't even dream this. Mm -hmm. right? okay. this, is, this is how good it was. Okay. It's, it's beyond untouched. You can't touch this shit. So this sounds like, you know, celebrating someone's legacy. Yes. Is that what you're telling me about? Yes, okay. So yes, it's a sir. special event. Amazing event. Okay. Beautiful event. That sounds like fun. Did you go? No. Why would I go? I wasn't here. Because, uh, mm. even if I was here. Have you have you met? This I'm, I'm not the demographic. Like yeah, any true? Yeah, didn't say yo. I, I don't did. think couture. Fits we need you, you to be here. Yeah. Or else the show's not gonna start. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I wasn't important. You're not very much a couture man at all. Yeah. I don't wear dresses. Mm. I mean, yet. yeah. You, <laughs> you do have the legs what? for it though. I appreciate it, man. So you've been checking me out, your yeah, asshole. Yeah. I, yeah. Every, every single day. Uh, that's the problem mm. because I only see you once a week. How the fuck do you see me, you asshole? <laughs> I see, you, I see you in my mind. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the camera at, bitch? I see you in my mind. <laughs> I'm gonna search this whole house. Let me see the wagon. I'm in the house. I'm about to get out of bed. Alright, he's a fan. He's, he's a fan. He's a fan. <laughs> anyway, so beautiful show. Okay. Amazing attendance. Full house. Everybody loved it. Mm. Everybody praised it. And then we went online. <laughs> okay. And apparently, netizens had an issue. The problem I think that we face is that we're not supposed to have anything good for us mm. as Saudi. As it, we're not supposed to have mm. anything nice. Oh no, nothing at all. Mm. Nothing, nothing nice, nothing good, nothing mid. Mm. We should not have a single thing. Okay. Because apparently, every time we have something, we are destroying something else. Okay. And what are we destroying? Now? I have no clue, but that's what they're saying. Mm. Their sense of fashion. Are we destroying? I do. I do not know. I, I did just a lot of crying. Okay. There's a lot of crying about hey. Why is this happening in the same country that has Mecca in it? Bro, hasn't yeah. hasn't then hasn't people been crying because we're hosting tennis matches? Haven't people been, been crying for six years? Yeah, and every single month, and look, every time the season comes around, they find more reasons to cry. But that's a good thing, no? It's a great thing for us yeah. because they think we're actually hurt by it. No, know? no, because if we're if they're finding more reasons to cry, that means we're doing things right. All I want to say is, yeah, thank you for the marketing. We mm. appreciate y'all. Mm -hmm. Keep taking these clips and passing them around. Hate <laughs> is gonna hate. Exactly. Yo, keep keep with the hate. I keep mean. with the hate. People when look, Egyptians were in their feelings because it was during the same time as the Cairo movie awards or movie cinema awards, something like that. I believe so, yes. It was some it's a it's a big event that happens to Cairo every single year when it comes to movies and stuff like that. It's a huge event. It's always live on NBC. And it happened at the same time. And then People who were supposed to be at that event decided, you know what? Nah, I'm gonna go to Saudi. Okay, and that's where a lot of the problems started from. So the fact that we can do a better show is what bothers people. No, I, I what bothers people is this. See, they think that we still Saudi should still be what they always thought Saudi is supposed to be in their mind's eye. Yeah, yeah so it, it's here's the thing. It's in their mind's <clears throat> eye, but in their mind's eye, they would shit on it as well. And like, ah, man, do come shay. It's, you can't win, so don't play. Yeah. Before, it was like, hey, you guys are uneducated. Backwards. <clears throat> you guys uh, do not let women drive. You don't give women any rights. And then when we move forward in life, like, oh, look at you. Why are you changing? Mm. Like, Damn, mm -hmm. like, bro, like, I'm making my own decisions for me, sir. Mm. And then, oh, why do you guys have concerts? I think people think that, like, Islam is only located in Saudi like when you leave our borders, like, you know, religion laws don't follow anymore. Mm -hmm. So we can have bars at the beach. We can have nightclubs everywhere. We can have, have prostitution in public everywhere. Every single hotel can have prostitutes. That's all vibes because mm -hmm. it's not a Muslim country for some reason. Mm -hmm. 
But when it comes to us, if we have one thing, an event, an appreciation, anything, whatever it is, we can't have that. So the thing that, see, I'm, if you want to be angry and hate, that's all good. Be well, angry sometimes, and hate. I could give two fucks. Sometimes people need something to be but angry about. Either. If you really give a fuck, and this is what I go back to so many times. If you really give a fuck about what's happening in Saudi, when we were getting bombed, you should have said something. But most of these Arabs were all supporting the Houthis and everything. Everyone that was backed by Iran was open and supportive, doing all this shittery. No one said anything when Houthis were throwing rockets at Mecca. I didn't see that to be a problem. I didn't see anyone saying, yo, these Houthis are trying to bomb Mecca. Let's go do something that about it. That's bad aim, by the But it's still, yeah, Shamsi, mm. These fuckers now all of a sudden have a voice. And anytime we show a cube, okay, any picture of a cube, like, oh. I mean, these people, if they saw a Lego set, they would die. <laughs> Bro, anything, anything. All it, of social media was on fire. I, and I'm like, what? I, I thought something really fucked up happened and I didn't get a glimpse of it. And then when I'm going through, I'm like, yo, just a, I'm here and I didn't care much for the event. I think why, they think why also I th- yeah I think they think the whole country was there. I think it's a mixture of jealousy and Adel, if, and, if and you, just just irrational hatred. If, like, no, it's if, just hate. Period. If you, yeah. if you look at these people, and jealousy, honestly, if you look at these people, hmm, the language that they're using is very common. There are lots of the same pictures, lots of the same talking points. It's almost as if bots hmm, are involved. It's almost as if it's a direction or something there's always been a direction the brotherhood do kept doing it uh all these fake activists in london kept doing it everybody keeps doing it every time we do something they point a finger at us they point a finger at a government i just, I just saw a tweet from Fraun saying <laughs> like how what, what, was hilarious. happening that was hilarious. no but again that, that that goes to show me that two things honestly people still have unfortunately a desire you need to have a shama'a عشان تقول انتو المشكله وانتو البلا Okay, and we are the most convenient yeah, one for these guys. It's called cope. It's Look, called cope, yeah, cope, literally cope. Bro, and, talk is easy. Mm. And I had this conversation with someone and I was like, how much did Saudi give to your country over the last years? How, what was the number again? Mm. No, it's the B. Mm. It's with a B. And so you're angry that we're developing and you're not? I think, exactly, exactly. I think exactly. you should look more inside yeah, yeah. than look at us. But it's literally that. Yeah, no, it's that. Okay, but he can't say that. There. Exactly. But he can say whatever he wants about us because he thinks that, hey, it's out of, there's, an, there's, a, there's a valve, the pressure valve that you need to kind of let go it's of. It's called a valve, Shamsi, by the way. Not a valve. And that's it's how, a Volvo, by the way. And that's, <laughs> how, that's how you do it, by it's pushing cool. this it's irrational. Cool. That's exactly, cool. that irrational hatred. Because when you really get down to it, what are you really bothered about here? That we are half nice things, that we're doing nice things, that you can't be a part of these nice things. Bro, I love our people you know? so much because every person that came out, Mr. Shrif Dinya, and telling us about how Muslims should be acting in Saudi Arabia, every single one of those people, our people just went straight into their accounts, found all the videos of them on the beach drinking and partying, and just posted it back on their Twitter. <laughs> Like, oh, is that you, son? Is that you? Is that you? Is that, is that, is that, is that yes. the Islam you're talking about, sir? Is this, is this you? You know, Islam goes beyond, right? It goes it, all it, over. It was. It's it everywhere. W- it was <laughs> It's not only here, sir. Yeah. It's it not was. a special zone. <laughs> My timeline yeah. was literally this you over and over again. This you? That's hilarious. You? Honestly. Hadent? That's, Hadent? That's, that's hilarious. Yeah, well, just, look, I don't know. What, look, it's not like I don't know what I want. I, I could give a fuck what they want, right? Like, by this time, like, we're all used to it. Like, fine, you cry more. Like, I have no problem with you bitching and crying, but stop using religion. Because the problem that we had before was people misusing religion. And now we get these new idiots that barely pray telling us how to do religion and telling me what religion is and trying to give me quotes from the Quran. This picking and choosing thing from Kef to telling me, oh, I'm right and you're wrong. Like, bro, get a fucking life. You're just angry because you didn't got shit, son. You didn't, your country didn't do what it's doing for us. Go be mad at your country. Go be mad at your leaders. Leave us the fuck out of this. Is- we want more. It's the odd season, son. It's going to keep going for the next five, six, seven months. You're going to be getting annoyed even more. You're going to be... Is that a big truck? Okay, I think that's the CIA coming. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> cool. We were saying cool. Uh, y'all have your own parties. Leave yeah. us alone. Anyway. But like, uh, stop with the bullshit. I, I'm not angry at them. You can talk for me until tomorrow. I'm angry at our people fighting back. Why are y'all wasting time? Fabian, but Fabian. This is the problem. Like, stop like feeding stop engaging. these assholes. Stop yeah, engaging. stop Don't, feeding these yeah. assholes. Like, I saw someone that I know, and I think you guys also know, and his pops is in a very important place. 
And he's online fighting with these dudes back and forth. Like, bro. Chill out. Relax. Mother, relax. Don't go back and forth. You don't need to do this shit. Just drop that tweet in their face and let them fucking cope with that shit by themselves. Literally. Like a lot of people tell us like about our comments. Yo, how do you guys deal with negative comments? Like, you see, do you think we're sitting there at the comments? John C, oh, what's going on? Oh. Yo, I read the comment. I just go, all right, cool. I did, and I dedicate an hour every day to mm. read every single not bad comment and feel bad about <laughs> yes, it. exactly. I do it for us. And you write in your journal. Mm -hmm. and exactly. Then, and then you, you upload your journal to the and drive. two tissue boxes. We need to use them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is how much I don't give a shit. One of them for crying. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to Real Season for the 1001 Seasons. Look that forward really to one. having amazing a lot work. more global events, a lot more events that reach that level of... More boxing. Yes, it was an amazing fireworks display, by the way. What was the case? All over calf. It's something to do with horses. I just didn't forget. I forgot what it was. It was some equestrian tournament. Uh, horse festival. Thingy? I think so. It was something like that. Equestrian horse festival. Yes. <laughs> equestrian <laughs> yes. You know, see, parties have ruined you. Son. Yeah, bro. Uh, 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 he'll go there. <laughs> yes. It's a horse. What festival. a horse festival! <laughs> All the hiccups in the house. All the horses. <laughs> Mm. All the horses in the house say, nay. I know you got like these horses because mm. you hang out with a few. Mm. 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 Yeah, but dude, mm. because athletes. No. I don't know where the joke is coming from, but okay. No. Are you calling them? No, I'm calling your friends. These girls are like horses. Mm. I, I need to all of my it. all of my friends, you're about to do it. All mm. of my friends. They're horses? All of my friends are diverse. You know, they come in all walks mm. of life. Yeah, so mm. Clydesdale, Hassan Arabi. Mm. Yeah. Shout out to Long Jaws and, and what's the name? Anyway, so... Mm. <laughs> Oh, uh, Chef's this week is gonna be fucked from today. So, yeah. anyway, I did miss you guys, though. We don't miss you. Yeah. Stop. Stop. I have one thing that I want to say real quick, but I think this is gonna be the year of Bitcoin. Okay. I, I had this written as a note from like a month ago, but I never had the chance to don't, discuss this. Don't hurt me. I I sold my XRP. Oh, you, you're you're fucked. Yes, I because did. lobbyists got involved, and all lobbyists said to Trump, "Hey, if you." I went to support Bitcoin. We're going to give you a lot. We're going to donate some money to your uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. And Trump said yes. And money was donated. Now we have a whole Bitcoin lobby. Oh, wow. Bitcoin is like $90,000 right now? 92. Yeah, 92. around that. So it went up, what, went up like 32000 Yeah. Around that. It used to be around 60s. Mm. Can't crash again. I want to buy it. No, no, it, will, it will crash again for a bit. But I think the next four years can down crash, the line, can crash to $1? It, might be, it might be a bit healthy. Can, can it be $1? So I can buy it again. One dollar man. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck was that? Yo, that, that DNA, bro. That, 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 I don't know, bro. Like, like, why, why that point specifically? <laughs> I don't know, bro. bro. Confucius. I'm, I'm just, <laughs> the robot. I want the wisdom. Well, honestly, man, a Confucius robot would sell like hotcakes. You know? <laughs> sell like hotcakes. I'd buy three, honestly. I'll tell you who's dead. <laughs> oh, I'll Why are you selling agents? I'm, I'm selling robots. <laughs> I'm, selling, I'm selling philosophy. <laughs> you know? I'm selling knowledge, you're <laughs> doing. Anyway, shout out to our tens and tens of listeners. Allah shout out to tens and tens of viewers that give us a We appreciate y'all. We don't appreciate you, son, yeah, but exactly. we appreciate the listeners and the viewers. I appreciate them, too. <laughs> anyway, yeah. we'll see y'all next week, hopefully. I think we'll, we're back in town, all of us, for a while now. Inshallah. No one's Inshallah. leaving anywhere. Inshallah. Terex. Inshallah. All right. Number one, I am here. No I'm half traveling. asleep, so don't take oh, any wow, so uh, sadness. See, it's almost midnight, son. I know. Okay, it's past midnight. I'm old. We out. Fuck, my cat's name. Peace. Yeah, it's three one. It's a good game. Peace. 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 Uh, France, Italy, three one. I don't know what's the end of the score. We got. France, Italy, same thing. I'm sure. Peace.